Hello, TJ here with another hot sauce review, and uh, today we're going to try two sauces from um, a company called Blue Zone. Where are they based, then? You know, didn't you? Uh, Costa Rica. Costa Rica, they're Costa Rican sauces. Uh, good job you're here, mate. Anyway, I'm joined with my two best buddies in the whole wide world who have stuck with me for many, many years with all my antics and all that. Got my good friend Dean here. We've got my good friend Chris from Phoenix Chile. And um, anyway, before we start, Chris, we can consider you a, a bit of a chili head now. You're not yeah. a hardcore chili head, but no. you're, you're getting there. You've yeah. done a few bits. We did the uh, Death Nut a couple of weeks ago. Got the 2.0 coming up. I don't know when you want to do that. The 13 million. Just get it done and out of the way. <laughs> well, yeah, whenever you're ready, we're ready to go. We've got the uh, Johnny Scoville tube of terror as well. Uh, Dean is uh, sort of starting to chase the heat a little bit with us now. But, you know, he's not too accustomed to heat, but you no. like a little bit. Yeah. So we're going to keep this low end of the Scoville Richter scale, if you like. So. Uh, we're doing mild to medium, so we're going to start with a cayenne pepper sauce and then we're moving on to a Congo pepper sauce, which I've never ever tried before. Have you, Chris? No, no. You certainly haven't. No. We've all done a bit of cayenne, but uh, the Congo pepper, quite interested to see what this is like. These are two or four Blue Zone sauces I've got. Uh, so this is mild to medium. I've got another medium Congo, which is mixed with beer, so that should be interesting. Uh, and a, a but jolokia, which we know as the ghost pepper, that is their high end. But so we're going to go with the low end and uh, not kill me mates too much tonight. So, uh, without further ado, let's see what this is all about. So, the cayenne pepper one, I'm going to show you the uh, packaging, it comes in a little box there. The actual bottles have got a, a picture of an animal. On them. This one's got a gorilla. This one's got a little white dog on it. Let's take it out. Pretty good marketing. Nice little packaging. It is a gourmet sauce, so you expect a little bit more. And there's, I don't know if you can see that. Let's pull that back a bit. I don't know if you can see that. I can't. It's, I've got a little screen face of me. So it's got a little Westie on there. This is a cayenne pepper based sauce. So let's read out a few bits to you. So this is called Nelga de Perro Cayenne Pepper Sauce made by Blue Zone. And we've got on the front here 100% natural, gluten free, uh, trans fat free, I haven't got a clue what that means, uh, naturally smoked. So before we taste it and pop this one open, my old mate Dane here, will you read out what uh, they've put on the box there please Frank? Right, <coughs> the Nicaya Peninsula in Costa Rica is one of the five blue zones of the world which is distinguished by the high longevity of its inhabitants. Plenty of research attributes these characteristics to a healthy lifestyle and nutrition. Blue zone and to say this, Nicoya rescues and promotes the consumption of local ingredients of the peninsula, offering 100% natural products with high nutritional value. Mm, that that blue zone Nicoya, that it's similar to their website name, which is a bit confusing. But anyway, there'll be a link to that in the description. And where, if you're in the UK, where we're from, I'll put a link where you can get it from. Uh, the, uh, the site you can get from very quickly, so uh, I'll, I'll put that be in the description anyway. Okay, mate, right, carry on. Right, uh, what does it say there? Nalga del Pero is 100% natural and it's produced with one of the most common peppers in the world, cayenne. It is a mild spicy sauce where the flavour of every component stands out, which makes it perfect to accompany any type of food. Pour it over everything without fear, right. Well, we'll see about that, whether it'll go on everything. Uh, I don't know whether I want to put it in my porridge in the morning, but uh, we'll give it a go. They've given it a three out of 10. I don't know whether you can see the scale on the back of the box. They've given it a three out of 10 on the Scoville scale. So, uh, should be pretty mild. Should be <coughs> quite pleasant. 
Let's pop it open and have a look. Now it comes with a perforated seal, so you don't need a knife for this. You should be able to pop it off. With you. There you go. Look at garage, look at garage. Da -na 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 -na. That's it. That's all you need. Right. What's it like? What runny is it? I don't know. We'll find that out. I'm going to give it a sniff test. Actually, it's quite uh, strong out the bowl. What the capsaicin? Yeah. Can you smell it? I'm getting. Onion, garlic, vinegar. It's not a sweet aroma, to be honest. I thought it'd be sweet. This is a low end. It's actually, it's got a bit of a depth to it, to be honest with you. Give it a go. Out of the bowl, well, I would have thought that would be stronger off the spoon because it's such a mild sauce, but um, it smells quite potent out of the bottle, to yeah, be honest with yeah. you. You can smell the spices, there's obviously a lot of spice going on in there, but... It smells quite fruity, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does smell fruity. It's a fruity pepper, to be honest. Yeah. It's not get a floral that, pepper, because... I, it, yeah, first it's, thing I get is that vinegar. Yeah, yeah. First thing, then, then I can start to smell it, yeah. Yeah, nice, the onion, the garlic. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Definitely. Yeah, it's nice. Um, mm. Spicy aroma. Right, let's have a look at the consistency. I'm going to... Come a bit closer to the camera and see if you can see this. If not, <clears throat> such is life. And it's quite runny actually. There's not a lot of chunks in there, but there's not a lot of ingredients neither. It's, it's pretty much uh, onion and garlic and sauce. So yeah, that's consistency. Do you want to load up boys? Give yourself a spoonful. Oh, and yeah. you know, I can smell that more. It's got a real pong to it, to be honest. The nose hasn't got to be that close to it to smell that, <clears> you know. <throat> when do you want us to take our clothes off? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to take your clothes off to eat some hot sauce. <laughs> well, we'll oh, no. get, we're all going after yeah, we're all Right, so, you, yeah, you, you agree, it's got a fucking rope. Oh, oh, I swore, sorry, we swear. <laughs> we're trying not to do it on we're video. We're human beings. We're just, you know, sometimes it slips out. I've had a couple of beers, I'm sorry about that. Anyway, all right, Danny out, Let's yeah, no, go, let's give it a go. You've tripped me mm. mm. It's normally me. Mm. 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 Vinegar forward, big time, Chris, mm, isn't it? Mm. Big time. Yeah. A lot of skin in there. Mm. There's a lot of... Um, mm. <coughs> mm. It's definitely spicy. Mm. Do you know what? For a low end, it's... Uh, yeah, it's all right. It's it packs a little bit of a punch, mm. doesn't it? You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Now, I don't score my heat level on a 1 to 10 like everyone else seems to be doing. For me... It's mild, it's medium, it's hot, it's really hot, it's stupid, that's that's um, extract, stupid. Um, so I like to keep it simple, but because their scoring is a 3 out of 10, let's go for a, a 1 to 10 rating on for the me, heat. It's a 2 for me. Yeah, I'll agree, I'll, I would say it's a 2. Yeah. Might be a little bit higher for you, Dean. Uh, no, I mean, I'll find it. It's Perfectly quite tolerable. Quite pleasant. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Flavour wise, I mean, I, I don't really want to uh, give a 1 to 10 on the flavour because we've all got a different flavour profile, if you like, you know, with tasting. But pleasant. If it, I was it, to it, give it a, a 1 out of 10, I'd probably say 4. Yeah, I was going to go 5. Yeah, but we were yeah. in the same area. Yeah. It's all right. It's standard so I, for me. Yeah. Yeah, it's nothing special. No, yeah. nothing it's, it's a gourmet sauce, yeah, you know. It, they, they try to do everything natural with this. There's no artificials in there to make it taste any better. So I suppose it's not a bad job. Do you know what I mean? I just didn't get much and, uh, sort of yeah. depth. No, yeah. no, it's standard, isn't it? The yeah. vinegar, onion, garlic is basic. It's not a yeah. lot of ingredients, is there? No, That's no. the thing, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so you could put it in a so, lot of stuff and spice stuff up with it, couldn't you? You know, you're looking at it, it looks like 
black, a lot of black pepper in there yeah, when yeah. it comes to the spices. You know what there was mm. those black bits in there. Yeah. But um, okay, not to write home about. I'm just being honest about it. Don't want to cuss them because I've got another three sauces to go. It's okay, and whether it goes with any everything, I don't know. I would certainly put it on chicken. I'll certainly put it on eggs in the morning beans uh, it go in with it you mix it in with your bean yeah just yeah. spice up whatever you know your beans baked beans tomatoes whatever you you know it's a good additive i suppose you know what i mean um yeah. it's all right give it to the children it's all right give it's, it to the children that's a know. children's chili it's, it's an entry level for children yeah, without a doubt mm. you've hit the nail on the head it's mm. a good starter sauce there's no doubt about it so the typical thing you see on the uh, supermarket mainstream shelf. So anyway, that was the Nauga de Perro Blue Zone hot sauce. So we're going to go on to something. Let's drop this down here. Get rid of that rubbish. We're going on to the Congo Pepper. Made by the same company, Blue Zone. You know, gourmet sauce. Is it mainstream? Is it gourmet? We're hoping that it's gourmet. Now, we, I've no idea about the Congo pepper. I've tasted a hell of a lot of peppers over the last six, seven years. Congo, never. Don't know nothing about it. Did you, Chris, you no. ever tried it? No. Never tried the Congo, Dean? Right. So, this is a Congo sauce. This one, it's got a gorilla. Not a Westie, they've also got a lot of gorillas. Gor gorillas? Gorillas? Gorillas in the mist. In the mist. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you find them, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Especially if you support me, Wayne. Right, it's a goldie. Okay. Uh, Santa, Santa, where, where is it? Santa Barbara. Santa, I come from Santa Barbara. Santa baby. Santa Bob. Right. Santa it's, it's all going wrong. This is what happens when you make a you know spontaneous video. That it goes. They're the best ones. We want to leave the mistakes in. We don't want to polish this rubbish up. Leave them in. It's all good fun. It makes it look real, doesn't it? Okay. Right. The Congo sauce. Take okay. it away. Apparently, oh. apparently. Right. You're going to give Mark a bit. Yeah. He's reading, oh, he's sorry. reading Chris was meant to read I'm this. I'm not stealing your thunder. <laughs> yep. Roger, you bombed this video. Roger, bombed this video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, Congo. Right, here we go. Go over it. Right. You get stuck on your words, I'll help you. I'm going to do this funny with you two here. Five, right, they've, <laughs> they've rated it out of a five out of ten on the Scoville. Right, Congo. Right. Congo is 100% natural and it is produced with a native pepper from the area known as Congo pepper or piquin. It is a oh. medium spice hot sauce with a smoky flavour, which I like, which pleases demanding palates. It's a sure thing you'll become addicted to this flavour. Well, that sounds interesting. The piquin I've been using is a Mexican pepper. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's oh, a okay. little pepper. I've been using them for a couple of years now. I've only got the dry ones, mm. the piquin. Um, and I'll just grind them up and put them on my chili con carne and, and stuff like that. Uh, what's that? Um, pepper Dew as well as yeah. the Pequin as well, mm. which we're trying to grow this That's year. It, so, yeah. yeah, okay, but you know, Congo, Congo, never tried the Congo before. So it's obviously part of the Pequin family. Five out of ten. Again, perforated seal, so we don't need a knife. So I can't show you my new knife today. You got a new one? Oh, I've got a few new ones. Oh, have you? Yes. No flick knives, not in this country. We have to have little, what are they, three inches. Of, Lock knives, uh, aren't they? Yeah. We're not even allowed to carry them about now. Because it's, it's right. so bad over here. Which is, isn't is a bad thing. He's used to it. All right. He's tall, isn't he? A little <laughs> <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Should we get on with the review? That's what you want to see, isn't it? Right. Okay, again, 100% natural, gluten free, trans fat free, naturally smoked, Congo pepper. Let's give this a whiff. We're getting closer. Go on, pour it on for me, mate. Let me smell it first, mate. I didn't do the <laughs> caracha. It's gone there. 
again really big aroma from the bottle smell the vinegar smell the onions smell the spices you want to have a guff out of the bottle before yeah. you uh really big aroma they pong their sauces mm. they've got a, a different than the other one is it? yeah oh, massive i mean yeah it's smell depth. the smoke there's depth yeah it's oh, great the now on here thing smoking this yeah yeah yeah, there's more in that. Alright, well you can start. No, it's the same then. size bowl. See yeah. what the consist <laughs> <laughs> What's the consistency? Uh, I'll get it. Again, now. it's quite a, a runny runny ish yeah. sauce. It's not too runny. Yeah, there's a few a lumps in there and that as you can see running down the bottle. Yeah. Go so on, it's go not that there. consistency. Go for it then. I'll go along. <clears throat> See if I can spill this one off. Yeah, I'm only going right the spoon of this just in case. You do whatever you need to do, mate. Right. Okay. Let's try and get a pour closer to the camera. So you can see the... Uh, it's slightly thicker consistency. Consistent, you know, see? Right? Yeah, it looks a lot better. A lot of pepper it's in this, like black bits Yeah, well. there's, there's a few bits in here. Mm. I expect this to have a bit of a kick. The yeah. last one did, and that was mm. a mild one. This looks a bit lumpy, your one, doesn't it? Mm. Right, I've really? got a few lumps out of that. Right? Mm. Seeds. Seeds, that's what Loads I Loads of seeds. Loads of seeds. <coughs> mm. I'm not... Better. It's... The depth's okay. I'm not happy about the seeds. No. Too many. No. Too yeah, many. It's a bit chewy, isn't it? Yeah. It's not even like they break down when yeah. you chew them and you just flatten them in your mouth. Mm. For me... Well, let's talk about the taste first. Um, ton of spice in there. Mm. Ton of spice. Pepper's de definitely a lot hotter. Um, again, vinegar forward. Uh, loads of spice. Obviously onion in there. Not happy about the seeds. Not a fan. I've got to say, I'm just being honest, I preferred the first one. To this, I don't know if you guys could I do. To tell you what I think, yeah. I think they're using the same base sauce and they're adding more chilli mm. into that. That's what that tastes like, and you've got like more well, towards a mash with the lumps in it, like they're obviously. Yeah, blended. yeah, I think you're right because when you look at the the colour of the sauces, they're not a million miles away. That mm. one's a lot darker, obviously. Yeah. They're, they've uh, amped up the, the spicing. So each sauce um, hasn't been the developed. Pepper. They're using the yeah, same base sauce, it seems. This is a, a lot more pureed mm. than that. That's, yeah. That, uh, and the chewiness, unfortunately, isn't vegetables. Mm. It's seeds. Seeds, yeah. yeah it's like husks. But they're and, like dry uh, seeds. A bit, do you know what? Yeah. I've, I've tried a thousand hot sauces. I've never had one with that amount of seeds in it. I'll have to be honest with you about that. So, sorry Blue Zone. Not my favourite thing, this one. Hope the other two are okay. Um, unfortunately, I've got another Congo one to do with beer. So let's hope it ain't caked in seeds, but there's a bit of jalopia. It's probably got a head on it. A bit of jalopia. A bit of <laughs> So anyway, there's uh, our review, our first review, um, with these Blue Zone sauces. Uh, both taste great. Uh, eight level, one to ten on this Congo sauce. For me, three. What eight? Yeah, three for me. Yeah, now yeah, I'd say two or three. Yeah, two the first one, three for me the yeah. second one. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Yeah, um, about you, don't. Yeah, on my definitely rip. hotter. Yeah, but. Perfectly acceptable. Yeah. On, on my Ritzer scale, both of them are quite mild. Perhaps bordering medium, that one. But um, uh, flavour-wise, again, I'm going to go for the Nalga del... Na, Nalga di Perro. Uh, I would have that all day long. That ain't going to last long. That might take a little bit of time to uh, get through. I'll give that a 4 out of 10 for the flavour and the yeah. actual sauce. Yeah. We're going 5 with that, 4 with that, yeah. did you say? Yeah. Uh, on a flavour basis. I, mean, I quite like the flavour of that, I just don't like the consistency and bits yeah. in that. No, it's too much. Yeah, you don't want too many <coughs> seasons. I mean, I've got them, I'll be fishing them out yeah, for ages, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
So, uh, don't know, don't know what happened there with that one. We'll see what the uh, Congo with beer's like, whether they've sorted that out. But they certainly needed to puree that a lot more. You can blend them seeds down, you know. I've done it myself. Um, anyway, so that's it for this video. Um, please uh, like, share, subscribe and all that malarkey. Um, there will be a link for this company. Uh, and the link where I got them from in the UK. I'm not going to say the name because I say them too much, but there'll be a link there if you want to get them quick shot if you're in the UK. You got any comments? Leave me in the comments box. You got a question? I don't bite. Just ask me a question and I'll get back to you. Um, and that's it, really. And uh, thank you, Dean. You're welcome. Thank you, Chris, for coming over and doing this review with me. Um, really happy. Got my two best buds with me. Um, and we'll be back to do the other two for you. We've got the Death Nut 2.0 coming up very soon. Yeah, I won't be doing that. We need to decide. <laughs> <laughs> we need a day off work the next day because things get a little bit gnarly, you know what I mean? Up the other end. Up the other end. I'll beg your pardon. All right, anyway, um, on behalf of me and the other two Essex boys here, yeah, Essex is on the map. All right. We're going to love you and leave you. Um, I've said everything. Like, share, subscribe. That means a lot to me. Please, please. Anyone, any, anything. You can either like, share, subscribe, whatever. Dislike, whatever you want to do. Just uh, do Don't, something. Donate some money. Yeah. yeah. Right. That would be nice. Yeah. Okay, well, it's going to run out of time. Anyway, Your TJ. First born. On behalf of us three. <laughs> Thank you. See ya. Is this where we take our clothes off, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Just about to run out of time, that. Just about. I've got to 